it rained last night and the cellar that these guys dug out is totally underwater. So we need to pump this area out so that we're able to get down here to work. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're in an old section of Charlotte called Dilworth. It's a historical section uh, founded sometime back 1880, I believe. These houses are pretty old. Dilworth is a small community located just outside of downtown Charlotte. These are very small homes, but they are very valuable because they are so close to downtown. Most investors buy these homes, knock out everything inside and remodel them. And of course they sell for top dollar and it's raining today, but we are working down in the cellar. They dug the cellar out so that they can install the utilities down below. So let's go down there and take a look, see what's going on. <laughs> Unfortunately, they did not plan for drainage. So it's actually raining today and it rained last night. And what happened is their entire area that they dug out and poured concrete, put the walls up, it flooded. And you can see it right here. You can see they're putting the furnace in here as well as the water heater. And we need to get this water out of here as soon as possible. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. What we're looking at is a crawl space that the homeowners dug out so that they could create a small basement, a small cellar to accept their utilities like the furnace and the water heater. But of course, the first time it rained, this was completely underwater and we need to get a sump pump and a basin down here to be able to keep this area dry to protect their utilities. The homeowner had bought this uh, Zoller H2O Pro pump not the greatest pump in the world, but he asked us to use it. So we're going to use that to just pump the area out. And what we need to do is in this tiny little area, we need to cut the floor, break the floor, dig down, install a sump basin, perforate the basin, install a sump pump, and then plumb this out and up through the crawl space outside. So you can see out here on the side of the house, this is our discharge hose, just temporarily bringing that water out. And it's coming out quick. Shouldn't take it but just a few minutes for that water to come out of there. So we're down here in a small little cellar that they've dug out. They poured, you know, a floor here, but we've got to put a sump pump here. So we've got to break the floor. And you can see it's underwater here. We pumped out a lot of water. And we've used the saw to help get some cuts in there, but it's still a difficult area to break out. We'll pound on that for a while. We may have to run the saw again. Okay, so you can see we've got the concrete broke out. We're going to go ahead and start shoveling it into these buckets. Then we take the mud outside. We've got to get it about two feet deep and all the way around so that we can put the sump pit in there. Then we can plumb the sump pump so that it goes up and out through the basement wall. This is actually a very confined space. And as we dig, more water pours into this area. It's coming up underground. So we have to keep adding the sump pump to pump the area out just so we can work. So we're pumping out that pit again. You can see how muddy that water is. It just pours out of there. Okay, so we've got our pit ready to go down in the, in the hole. We just pump it out one more time. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and perforate all around the bottom of the pit. We're gonna pour gravel down here along the bottom so that water can enter. And if you look closely here, maybe you can see it. You see the water coming through here at the footer? This is how the system is supposed to work. That water is behind and under the ground and it just floods into your pit, to your sump pump. Just floods into your sump pit. And your pump's gonna lift it up and take it out. When you're working in a muddy area, you know, in the water, you can see it's just pure mud here. This is all gonna get rinsed off. And then eventually we'll go ahead and just pour the concrete back. It'll be flushed to the floor. 
So it's really important that you perforate your pit because that's the collection. There is no pipe here. We're just collecting the water that's under the floor because this is a very small area, maybe only six by six. So it's just water under the floor. After we surrounded the pit with gravel, you can see the water moving through the gravel into the sump basin. This is perfect. So you can see our sump pump down there in the bottom. You can see the check valve down below. That allows water to only flow one way. We've already pumped it out and it's about ready to kick on again because there's so much water coming underground here. It'll fill this pit up and that's why they need a sump pump because this whole basement area flooded behind this black tarp is the furnace and they have to protect that. So that's why the sump pump is very important. Again, we need to clean the whole area up here. A lot of mud here on the floor. We'll wash all this off and then we'll go ahead and pour the concrete. That'll be the final thing that we do. But you can see how we've got it plumbed. We've got our riser coming up, comes up and turns, runs down about 10 feet, turns again, and it goes all the way over to the vents. And so here's where we brought the, the, the sump pump discharge out. And you can see it was splashing over here onto the neighbor. So we put our discharge hose on here and we're gonna come back in the future. We'll actually put this underground, but he needs a gutter up here. That water just pours. All this water here is actually from that valley of the gutter. Put these downspout drains underground out to the front and hook up the sump pump to that line and we're done. So here's our sump pump installed. We've got the concrete back setting up. Again, plumbs up, goes out all the way around, actually goes clear over, you can't see it, but it goes clear over through the wall out the side of the building. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.